Well, good afternoon. You got a W25 here to do a little W26, also a bit of Dr. Sark jump off. So uh, let's check this out right here. There's a, a few different graphs presented to you. Now, you will not have to do this exact skill on your quiz on Friday, on Dr. Sark quiz. Dr. Sark, straight up, look at the graph. There it is, interpret it. But the skills used on that are some of the same skills here, so this is good practice nonetheless. Let's go over here. So you can go through the description up top. The directions tell you what to do. Basically, this is saying, what is the direct read doing? What is the slope doing? Let's go over here. Direct read. If you look at this graph, the very first graph, direct read is whatever the y-axis says. So here we start at 0, and then we go up 2, 4, 6, 8. doesn't matter what it is. If you look at your graph, as time proceeds, obviously the graph is getting higher and higher and higher. The direct read is increasing. Clearly, you can see that that's intuitive. Now, what is the slope doing? Aha! The slope, beware, the slope, of course, is steepness. Is the steepness changing on this graph? Well, no. The steepness is constant. It's a straight line. Anything that's straight has constant slope. It's actually a straight line, but it has a positive slope. So you can actually say the slope is positive, constant. Now, this is all well and good. But what does it actually imply? What does it actually mean? So here, we know the direct read is increasing on this graph right here. And we know that direct read is what? Well, on this graph, the direct read is actually V for distance. Therefore... Well, this is just logical deduction right here. I'll put the whole comment up here. If direct read is increasing, and if direct read is D for distance, let's say, what can you automatically conclude? Well, the only thing you can deductively conclude here is that D is increasing. Okay. Well, that's actually very easy. You didn't need Dr. Sarf for that. You could have just looked at this graph and said D is increasing. In fact, direct read is very easy. Heck, you can come down here, look at graph B. It's a V graph this time for speed. Well, clearly, V is increasing on this graph. I mean, you can jump straight to the therefores with direct read. It's so easy. V is increasing. If we're being logical about it, if we're looking carefully via the Dr. Sarf method, you would say direct read is V. And so... Since direct read is V, and notice over here, V is increasing. The graph is increasing. There's our conclusion. So that's very easy. Direct read is a piece of cake. The benefit of Dr. Sarf, however, is it organizes your thoughts. So we know here the direct read is V. Let's go back to question A. Let's look at the slope. The slope is a positive constant. Sorry, down here I meant to write increase. The slope is a positive constant. Well, what does the slope represent? That's really the key. Slope, of course, is y over x, really deltas, but we'll do the quick version, which in this case is d over t, which is v. So now let's do our deductive logic. Slope is a positive constant. Slope is v. Therefore, the only thing you can deductively conclude, v, is a positive constant. And actually, what the question is asking you to do over here on the side is sketch the slope graph. What that means is just sketch this graph. So make this a V graph, a V versus T graph. If V is a positive constant, then you will go up to some positive magnitude, like let's say here, and then make it constant. Boom, that's it. The reason we're doing this is I want you to start to recognize that when a D versus T graph is direct, a V versus T graph of the same motion is flat. I want you to recognize two things, the pairing here, and then also that different physical quantities, a D graph versus a V graph, for the same exact motion will look different. That seems simple enough, but this is all really in support of the Dr. Sarf movement here, which is go through the method. Now, what's the slope on graph B? Of course, you notice 
the slope is going to be constant, the straight line, and it's positive. So again, slope is a positive constant. Now, if we come to the middle, what does slope represent? Well, slope is always y over x. And so here, slope is v over t, really delta v over delta t, which is acceleration. Therefore, the only thing you can logically conclude, slope is a positive constant, slope is acceleration, therefore, acceleration must be a positive constant. And so you can come and plot this graph over here, acceleration versus time, go up to positive, make it constant. Boom, that's it. So if your V versus T graph looks like this, and your A versus T graph looks like this. If your D is in dog versus T graph looks like this, your V is in vector graph looks like this. That's all. Some of you may even see the mathematical pattern here. Well, you have one graph that is direct, that's a diagonal line, then your slope graph is going to be flat, zero slope. Okay, let's go over here. That might have been confusing the way that was stated. The slope graph, the graph of the quantity that the slope represents, will be a flat graph. This is a positive constant slope over here. Okay, let's look at the next one and then, you know, I'll let you run on the last three. All right? D, E, F. Yeah, there are six total. So I'll run you through three of them and you can run yourselves through the other three. This one, what is the direct read doing? Okay. Of course. You see the direct read is going up. Yes, it's curved. I know, but don't make comments. Direct read is increasing. Fine. What does direct read represent? D. Well, if direct read is increasing and direct read is D, you can only logically conclude that D is increasing, which you could have noticed just by looking at the graph anyway. The direct read is always intuitive. That's fine. The real power of Dr. Sarf comes in when we start looking at the other angles. So, slope. What's the slope doing here? Ah, slope is not constant. Slope is not, con this line is curving. If you were walking along this line, you would find it's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. The slope here is in fact increasing. What does the slope represent? V over T, which is V. What can we logically conclude? If slope is increasing and slope is V, we must conclude that V is increasing. So from this, you can actually plot the V versus T graph and make V increase. That's it. You have three more. Try them on your own. Now, W26. Let's go one more page. There we go. W26. Let's break down the things you should do. This is a nice little beautiful table over here. I recommend this a nice one for practice. What do all the different elements of Dr. Sark give you from the different graphs? That actually is a, a very nice little practice piece right there. This most certainly will assist you when you're doing your quiz. Okay. Now, questions two and three. You know what? I don't want to sweat you on those right now. You can give them a try if you want. That's not going to be required tonight. However, this... Definitely four, five, and six. You better know what those are. Don't mess with my emotions. And then finally, questions 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know what? We can skip that for right now. That's actually just like W25, but I'd rather you focus on 25, and then these will worry about the next thing. So from W26, the only thing you should really do is this chart. And Mr. Berman! Questions four, five, six. Okay. That's good. That's good.